Zillionaire Entertainment, baby. What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Now, Trump was in one of his live conferences, and one of the reporters asked him a question, and Trump went off on him. And I'm going to be honest with you. I liked it, Trump's answer. <laughs> I liked it, the guy's answer. Reason why, this is what I like about Trump. This is what I like. People say all the bad things, they, they you know, all the bad things about him, or whatever, or what he doesn't do right. One thing I can say, at a time like this, we do need a guy that's just going to be blunt and straight up and straightforward with you. That's what I do like. He's straight up. He's not afraid to say what he got to say to anybody. And I really like that because I'm the same doggone way. <laughs> I don't I can't stand men who are afraid to speak what they want to speak. And Trump says what he has to say and don't care what you think about it. Now, this reporter had the nerve to ask him. Everybody's scared. He, he did ask him sort of a dumb question. OK, he said, everybody's scared. What do you say to everybody being scared about this? And no, and Trump told him, you know, uh, you're a horrible reporter. <laughs> You're a bad reporter. You're trying to sensualize and you're not reporting, you know, <laughs> he said, you're trying to make this look better than, you know, you're trying to make it look real bad and have people panic. Trump said people are looking for answers. People are looking for answers and people are looking for hope. I said, man, that was who he got him. Reporter couldn't say nothing. He sat there and looked stupid. <laughs> I'm going to let you listen to it. But I just had to give, you know, I'm going to let y'all listen to what they said. I couldn't put, you know, I can't put the video up. It's copyright strikes and all that good stuff. Can't get, can't be getting copyright strikes. But anyway, I'm going to let you listen to it. But he told that guy off, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I agree with what Trump said. It's like, come on, man. People looking for answers. They're talking about the stimulus package. They're talking about bailing out the economy. And this guy's talking about fear. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about bailing and trying to get this money to, to businesses and trying to get this money to taxpaying citizens. And this guy going to talk about everybody being scared, scared. And they're talking about solutions. So I totally agree with him. And the dude looked really stupid. <laughs> he had the dumbest look on his face. Like, look at this idiot. You shouldn't ask the dumbass question. People are looking for hope. Trump was right. People are looking for hope. People are looking for answers. People do want to know what the hell is going on. People do want to know they got fired or lost their, I mean, not fired, but they got, but had to shut down or they had to lay people off or whatever the case may be. People are looking at how I'm going to, how am I going to make ends meet for next month mortgaging? How I'm going to make my rent payment, my car, how I'm going to do all this when everything is shutting down. People are looking for answers and this guy wants to talk fear. I can't stand people who talk fear. That's like one of the most irritating things to me too. I'm a courageous dude. I like courage. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about some answers. I don't want to get that. I don't want to even put that in my in my vocabulary. You know. So he called him out. And then he said, "You ought to be." <laughs> then when Trump was going on to the uh, to the next question, he pointed to him and said, "You ought to be ashamed of yourself." <laughs> Boy, I was cracking up. I see. You know what, Trump? I agree with you, but. People are looking for answers. People need hope. They're trying to give the answers. They're trying to get money to, to the economy. They're trying to get money to businesses and taxpayers and citizens. And that's what the topic was about. He came in talk, trying to spread more fear and Trump shut it down. Listen to this, man. Totally agree with the guy. As you witness, who are scared right now. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Sorry, but, I think clear. it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers, and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism, and uh, the same with NBC and Comcast. I don't call it, well, you I don't call it Comcast, I call it Comcast. Let me just ask for whom you work. Let me just say something. That's really bad reporting. And you ought to get back to reporting instead of sensationalism. Let's see if it works. It might and it might not. I happen to feel good about it, but who knows? I've been right a lot. Let's see what happens, John. Zillionaire Entertainment, baby.